Thank you for coming to this virtual open day. Uh, my name is Cesare Conti and I am the director of the Master in Finance. Uh, the Master of Finance, uh, as you can see uh, from the slide, uh, is uh, seventh worldwide from Financial Times. And uh, as you can see in this slide, Professor Gimedi Gigante is my assistant and at the same time is one of the lecturers of the course of investment banking. Uh, let me introduce the agenda of this presentation. Firstly, I will briefly introduce the Master of Finance. Secondly, I have invited a prestigious guest speaker uh, to complete the presentation with a perspective which is not purely academic. The guest speaker is Massimo Della Ragione. Massimo is Managing Director and Partner at Goldman Sachs. And moreover, Massimo is professor of practice in Bocconi University and is one of the, uh, our lecturers uh, within our course of investment banking. Thirdly, uh, one of our graduated students will briefly share her experience of our master. And finally, uh, there will be a slot of time which will be dedicated to uh, Q&A. Um, I think that uh, uh, let's start with the presentation and I guess that your first question could be why finance in Bocconi uh, and these slides point out the main reason and uh, the main reason is to complement solid academic knowledge and real life application. Uh, we try to obtain this objective mostly in two ways. First of all, uh, our lecturers are both uh, our lecturers are both outstanding academics and prestigious practitioners. Uh, secondly, we offer a two-year uh, program uh, where the aim of the first year is to provide solid knowledge covering the different building blocks of finance, uh, which are corporate finance and risk management, quantitative finance and financial economics. This solid knowledge is complemented with a second year in which uh, you will focus on real life applications. More precisely, uh, you will choose a more detailed and personalized track. Then you will make uh, an operational experience through the internship. And finally, you may also decide to follow a study abroad program or an exchange program uh, or a double degree program. But let me add uh, other four relevant reasons uh, to uh, attend a finance uh, a master in Bocconi. Uh, the first uh, reason is that uh, there is a very tough selection in the admission process, which means that uh, you will interact with exceptional students coming from different parts parts of the world, uh, which uh, is by itself uh, very stimulating. Secondly, we have a very efficient staff and uh, our staff uh, will support you in the many initiatives such as choosing the internship or the exchange program <coughs> or double degree program. Thirdly, you will become a part of a very appreciated community both in Italy and abroad, uh, which is by itself a relevant intangible asset in the professional life. Moreover, you will be encouraged to have an active role in this community, both during your stay in Bocconi and uh, in your working place. I think that the result of all the previous reasons uh, generates the last relevant reason, which is an incredible track in terms of recruiting. And uh, let me sh share with you three slides uh, uh, which relate to the issue of uh, recruiting. So, first of all, in this slide, uh, um, in the left part of this slide, you have some data related to the day of graduation. On the day, on the graduation day, as you can see, about 80% of graduates are employed they have obtained uh, six on average 6.5 uh, uh, interviews and uh, they have received uh, on average 2.2 uh, job offers 
Then on the right part of the slide, uh, you can see other data related in this case one year after graduation. And you can see that about 97% of students of graduates are employed. Uh, the majority of them, the, about uh, half of them are employed abroad and mostly in UK, Germany and France. And finally, after three years of gradua from graduation, you have an idea of the average salary uh, in US dollars, which is $115,000. Another, um, here in, the, in, in this slide, you have a very brief idea on the very prestigious uh, top employers. I'm not going to list and uh, mention all of them, but as you can see, uh, they are very, very prestigious. And uh, uh, in the next slide, this one, uh, uh, let me say something about the issue of diversity in finance, and more precisely in this case, on the issue of women in finance. Uh, this slide, as you can see, reproduces some cases of women who have completed our master in finance and have obtained very good and satisfactory positions in very prestigious institutions all over the world. Let me add that this is a very good period for women in finance, and they really would like to encourage women to apply for our master in finance. Moreover, for women, working in finance is not more difficult or demanding than working in other contexts, such as, for example, consulting. And uh, I'm not going to say anything else on this issue, but I hope that Massimo will say something on diversity in Goldman to give more color on this issue. Uh, now, let's, uh, um, let me now say something about the program structure. Uh, and this slide uh, summarizes the structure of the program. First of all, let me, let me say that a good quantitative and uh, quantitative and financial background is welcome. But at the same time, we organize both e-learning courses and pre-courses on presence to give everyone the possibility to recuperate. So as I told previously, during the first year in the upper part of the slide, you will be given a very solid knowledge and uh, you will cover the different building blocks of finance. For example, as far as corporate finance and risk management is concerned, uh, there is the course on financial reporting, one course on business valuation, one course on investment banking, another on risk management in banking and insurance. And uh, as far as the quantitative finance and financial economics is concerned, you can see that there are two courses on quantitative finance and derivative, two courses on financial econometrics and empirical finance, and one course of the the about the, which says, says something about the theory of finance. You also will have uh, uh, a course of law, which is focused on financial institutions and markets, and uh, some seminars on behavioral skills. Now let's go to the second part, the uh, lowest part of the, of the slide, and uh, where you can see what you are going to do during the second year. And during the second year, first of all, you will choose your major, and we will say something about this, each single track in a minute. And at the same time, you will make an operational experience through the internship, which in the majority of the cases will become your first place of work. Finally, uh, as I already have told you previously, you may decide to follow a study abroad program or an exchange program or a double degree program in very prestigious university. For example, ESAD in Barcelona, NOVA in Lisbon, SSE in Stockholm, RSM in uh, Rotterdam, uh, HSC in Paris, and KU in Tokyo. Finally, uh, the uh, last part of the journey in Bocconi uh, is uh, a part in which you will devote time to the thesis, which will conclude uh, uh, your journey in Bocconi. As I told you, now I would like to uh, show in this slide uh, which are the three tracks. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we have three tracks. Uh, the first one is on corporate advisory and investment banking. 
the second one is on quantitative finance and asset management and the third one is on financial and insurance institution management as you can see in each major here you have a lot of flexibility as you have to choose four courses out of a huge number of electives so you can see there's some examples for example in the major of corporate advisory and investment banking you can choose international financial markets structured and project finance private equity and venture capital mergers and acquisitions corporate financial risk management and so on as far as the uh, track on uh, quantitative finance and asset management you can choose for example fixed income asset management quantitative methods for asset pricing and structuring information and architecture of financial markets and so on and as far as the last track you can choose for example bank and fintech credit risk management private banking real estate finance psychology economic analysis and behavioral finance you also can decide to have a, a let's say an open kind of track uh, which is subject to uh, the approbation by the director of the master uh, in order to give you even more flexibility uh, now uh, the last slide as far as my presentation is concerned that um, the the project the program is designed to facilitate the access uh, to many career options you may choose between different financial institutions for example investment banking uh, commercial banks, insurance companies, and also you can choose uh, to go and work in other financial players, such as, for example, consulting firms, or private equity funds, uh, or uh, other uh, regulatory authorities. In any case, uh, uh, you may cover different professional roles. Uh, for example, you may become a manager, or you can do the analyst, or a trader, or asset manager, or risk manager, or consultant. So I'm not going to say uh, anything else, and so I stop here, and I leave the floor to Massimo della Ragione, who will focus on his perspective of our Master in Finance as a professional, as a professor of practice, and as a lecturer in our course in investment banking. And uh, see you later for the chat at the end of the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Cesare. Thank you very much for uh, the invitation. And uh, good afternoon to everybody. Um, I started my cooperation with the Bocconi University in 2010 uh, with the common ambition uh, to try to, you know, walk along a long path where we wanted to try to support the academic teaching and dissertation with, uh, with the cases and professional experiences in order to share with the students both sides of the equation, the, the frame of theory and the academic support and backbone with the real uh, you know professional experience on the other side and i must say that uh, uh, this year will be the 11th year in a row where we have tried to develop and improve day in day out year in year out you know the quality of uh, of the course um, i wanted to share with you um, a number of thoughts very quickly on how I think the course in Master of Finance is particularly attractive, at least in my mind. Number one is a course that will provide you a lot of instruments to properly understand the importance of the consolidation that is taking place globally in the old financial institution space where there is a big competition between American banks and the European banks that when I started my career, maybe too many years ago, was uh, equally split between the two worlds. Now, American banks are de facto dominating the global uh, market in corporate investment banking, but also in asset management. And, uh, and uh, this represents a unique opportunity for European banks and European people to try to catch up with this gap that has increased dramatically 
uh, or especially after the global financial crisis in 2011 and 2012. The course will talk about also um, the impact of technology in all these kind of businesses. And for example, let me give you uh, my professional experience. Uh, last year, during uh, the, the, the first severe lockdown, we managed at uh, Goldman to execute the first, in my opinion, for sure in Italy, convertible, uh, totally digital, as I call it, because uh, the, the convertible has been originated, has been structured, has been um, marketed, allocated and priced, including the after day aftermarket support, all the time remotely, because everybody, lawyers, investors, the issuer was locked down in their own premises. We will talk about how to, to perform this business in asset management with all the implication that technology has, uh, has created in the asset management space as well. So a lot of attention on, on, on the impact of technology. There will be a lot of dissertation and uh, thoughts and uh, uh, time spent together uh, talking about growth. Growth is becoming de facto the must for any corporate, for any country, for any jurisdiction is uh, unavoidable. We need to grow. But it's also true that only one third of the institution in the world managed to have uh, growth combined with value creation for the shareholders. Because the two thirds, the remaining, de facto other are uh, you know, growing without creating a value or they are uh, growing uh, unsuccessfully. In other words, they fail to grow. And uh, this brings uh, the, one of the most important topic is the right course of action, explore the mergers and acquisition route or to explore the standalone. There will be also thoughts about how the low interest, interest environment is impacting on the way to do business and also the theory around business. Because uh, as a result of the low interest uh, rate environment, by definition, the cost of equity and the cost of capital is getting lower and lower and lower. But as a result, it will become much more severe, you know, the quality and the way operator will select opportunities of investment because with a low interest environment you know the difference between a, a good investment and a bad investment will be fully amplified by the fundamentals and finally i wanted to tell you that especially in light of my experience at goldman you know the course provides a, a unique opportunity to you know keep on investing on the diversity initiatives that Bocconi is exploring as an experience as well. Because uh, in the last 10 years, I have, uh, I have seen with a lot of joy and uh, satisfaction that you know, the, uh, uh, the number of uh, female students is very much comparable. I would say probably equally split with, uh, with the male. And this is reflected also in the um, uh, job opportunities uh, outside, where, for example, in Goldman Sachs, at the inception, at the analyst level, I would say that now, uh, over the last few years, uh, females, you know, got the same number of slots available to male, and in some years, even overtake the number. So there is a, a, a situation that the mirrors is each other between Goldman and Bocconi, where we are investing on both sides very much on diversity. And this course, in my mind, is trying to reflect all this effort. With this note, um, I would say uh, um, I would like to, to leave uh, you know, the floor to um, a student that used to be at Bocconi. There is a clip where this student will share with you uh, her experience and um, you know, her activity in the new uh, professional uh, stage of her life. 